Welcome to Sidic Motion Graphics, where we give you After Effects tutorials that you can apply to your project and your client's project to make them stand out a little bit more. We make sure we always share our project file with you. You can always get that in the description of our videos. Subscribe to our channel to share your support. Today, you will see how to create this dynamic text animation using After Effects in five simple steps. Please like this video. Step one create a new composition to do that quite simple just click on the new composition here just give it a name in this case i'll be giving it text animation good i'll be using the width of 1920 and the height of 1080 also frame rate of 60 frames per second and duration of 50 seconds the background will be straight up black because the next step is to create a new solid layer which is serve as our background so to do that just right click here select new and click on solid the name should be background but i'll be using bg short form then the only thing you might want to change here is the color of the background you can always go with whatever color you want but i prefer this it's purple good just click on ok now i have my purple background i believe you should have your own background as well the next step is to create the first letter in our world in this case the word will be smile smile it's a free therapy so first letter we will create this animation letter by letter it's kind of, kind of simple in fact we are in this third step already so you know it's simple so just click on the text first letter here will be S and in this case I'm using Rojan Pro 3 font the font weight is bold and the font size is 350 pixels so I'll select click on the select to then bring my S to the center of the screen or probably I should just bring it to the left somewhere like that fine so the next thing we are gonna do is to right click on the letter layer then click on pre-compose now i want to change the name to s then click on ok once you have done that the next thing you want to do is to come to effects and presets here and you want to search for radio white once you click on radio once you search for that it will appear on the transition just double click on it and it will be applied to this layer under effect controls so what we want to do is kind of simple so just make sure that you bring the uh, the current time indicator the city i just bring it to the first frame so what we are going to do is to apply keyframe to the transition completion here yeah? just apply that then you change the value to 100 percent you will notice that the s has disappeared and that's what this radial wipe does so you are going to move this current time indicator to one second then once you have done that you are going to reduce the completion here to zero percent so what that does is that the animation starts from nothing to something that's just it guys so once you have seen the preview just click on you to see the keyframes you right click over after selecting them then you click on disease that's it guys that's it guys so so that's it the first step is to make duplicate of this s layer and to do that it's kind of simple just press ctrl d after selecting the layer then you have a duplicate so what you want to do is to shift the top layer to the right a little bit just like that now you notice you have two layers but nothing is different it's still as if we have a single layer what's happening is that they are having the same color 
and what we are going to do is to change the color of this second layer to do that we'll be making use of another effect called the fill effect just search for that and you double click on fill now you have it if you play around you are going to see that now we have two colors red and white depending on the color you want you can change this let's go with this color once we have that you can see you can see the simple animation now the next thing you want to do is to make another duplicate of the first layer D. now you shift the top one to the right a little like you did before now again this second layer we are going to apply this fill effect now we are going to give it bring in the third color so if you move in you notice that we have these three colors showing which is what we want so the last duplicate is this click on the third layer here just make duplicate of that by pressing ctrl d and this layer just click on the last one which is the duplicate we are going to delete all the effects that it has and the only effect that we are going to give it is called vegas i'm going to give it this vegas just double click on it now this is where the fun is please follow along guys the segment we are going to change it to one and the length just leave it as it is for now the random face make sure you check it and the random seed you increase it to just anywhere between 5 and 10 is okay now you want to change the blend mode to transparent and the hardness to 0.4 perfect once you have that once you have that make sure you bring the cti back to the first frame now you want to enable the keyframe of the length and the rotation once you have that now we are going to change this length to zero now we are going to move the current time indicator to the first second one second difference so we are going to change the length to 0 0.6 0 0.6 and the rotation which we haven't done anything to since we are going to change it to 1 once we have that just preview what you can see can you see that can you see the, this little beautiful lightning that's what the vegas does so what we want to do in this case is to now that you see all of that just press you so that you see the keyframes select all the keyframes right click over them then go to keyframe assistant and press easy is or you can press f9 which is a shortcut for that so once you have that go to one and a half second which is something like this now we are gonna change the length to zero just for the stroke to disappear around our text that's what we want once we have that you can see still beautiful guys still beautiful guys so now we are moving on to the last step which is to create the second text second letter however so if you can create the second letter then you can create every other letters it's kind of simple and it's very important just follow along with me guys so what you are gonna do is to select all the letters layer like this just control D to make duplicate of them then you drag the duplicates one of the duplicates however then you bring it to the top like that so you have all the duplicates at the top now you go into your project window 
select the S composition, which is the first letter composition, and you press Ctrl D over that as well. You have a duplicate of that. You right click on it, you rename it to the second letter. In this case, smile the M will be the second letter. Change it to M. Once you have that, you click on it. You hold down the Alt key and you drag that M onto the duplicate that you did earlier. Once you have that, the layer name, all the layer names, you will change to M. Now we want to change the letter itself to M. So you double click on one of the layers, you double click on the layer name in here, and you change it to M. Once you have that, you go back into your main composition. Now we have our M. So what we are going to do is, once since all of this is still selected, put down the shift key and use the right arrow key on your keyboard to move the letter M to the right hand side a little bit. Now you have that. Before we proceed, just make sure you drag all the layers on the timeline inward a little. So we have this beautiful animation, guys. Let's make a preview of that. So, can you see that? Can you see this? It's very simple, guys. This is very simple. So, what you are going to do now is you are going to make some changes to these new layers. To do that, just come into Effect and Control, select the layer, just like that. You want to change, you can change the random seed, maybe reduce it, or just set this to 5. Now we are gonna change the color and change the color to light green somewhat like that, which is cool. Again, we are gonna change the color here and the clockwise. I'm gonna put it to counterclockwise. The color, let's put it to somewhat of red. Now we are gonna change this. So we're gonna change it to counterclockwise. You see, we just want some difference to be in this. Can you see that? Very simple, guys. This is very simple. This is very simple, guys. So, once you have that, just replicate that for every other letters that you have in the world. I'm going to fast forward this video while I make duplicates. Now guys, we have come to the end of this video, just make the first letter, make duplicates of that to create the second letter and with that you can create all the letters that you want in the world. Thank you and I will see you in the next video. Bye for now.